Port of Spain South Member of Parliament Marlene MacDonald has once again been relegated to the backbenches. Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley today advised President Anthony Carmona to revoke her appointment as Minister of Public Utilities with immediate effect. The Prime Minister met with Ms. MacDonald on Sunday after the controversy caused by her choice of guests attending her swearing-in ceremony at President's House in St. Anne's on Friday. And Peter Christopher reports. Just two days after taking up her instrument of appointment as Minister of Public Utilities, Marlene MacDonald finds herself out of the Cabinet once again. The Port of Spain South MP was fired on Sunday after meeting with the Prime Minister, Dr. Keith Rowley, at the Diplomatic Centre in St. Anne's. Her dismissal comes after concerns were raised about Cedric Berkey Burke's presence at the swearing-in ceremony as Miss MacDonald's guest. CNews understands Miss MacDonald went to the Diplomatic Centre at around 10.30am and left just over an hour later. She gave no statement to the media. Her dismissal was confirmed via a media release by the Prime Minister's press secretary at around 1 p.m. on Sunday. Mr. Burke was not listed as a guest for the swearing-in event and was initially denied permission to enter by protocol officers. However, he was allowed to go upstairs to the swearing-in ceremony when MP MacDonald arrived. In an interview, she would later identify him as one of her constituents and one of the best Sealots has to offer. He was photographed alongside the President, the Prime Minister and MP MacDonald at the event. This created a stir as Burke had previously been arrested under the Anti-Gang Act after being labelled a gang leader during the 2011 state of emergency. He however was released and has not been convicted of a crime. He has since announced plans to sue the state as a result of that incident. The Port of Spain South MP's dismissal 16 months after she was first removed as Minister of Housing, marks the shortest ever ministerial stint in the country's history. On May 17, 1995, Norson Gift resigned as Minister of Foreign Affairs just 10 days after receiving the post on May 7. Until today, that was the shortest recorded ministerial stint. MacDonald had been removed in 2016, six months into her stint as Housing Minister after several allegations of impropriety were leveled against her. After it was announced that she was to return to the cabinet this week, both the Prime Minister and Ms. MacDonald said the Integrity Commission had cleared her of any wrongdoing in October, paving the way for her short-lived return to the cabinet. Peter Christopher, C News. Now the portfolio of public utilities has been assigned to the Prime Minister, who will now assume these duties in addition to his other responsibilities. The opposition leader Kamla Pasabisasa has described the Prime Minister's dismissal of Marlene MacDonald as yet another episode in the unraveling saga of the Rowley government. In a statement, the Separe MP said it is yet another example of the questionable judgment of the Prime Minister. She added the problems Dr. Rowley now faces within his cabinet are because of his lack of vision, leadership and judgment when choosing these individuals. She said the Prime Minister restored Ms. MacDonald to ministerial office even as she was under active investigation and whilst concerns continued to be expressed about her fitness for office. She also stated the reappointment of Ms. MacDonald highlighted the absence of capable and skilled personnel available to the Prime Minister. Meanwhile, the Member of Parliament for Oropuch East, Dr. Rudal Munilal, says the Prime Minister should accept full responsibility for the situation surrounding the uninvited guest to the President's house with the swearing of Cabinet Ministers. Now, speaking at a health fair at the Mohes Road Hindu School on Sunday, Dr. Munilal said this incident should not have happened. I cast no aspersions on the individual um, because... Uh Maybe he has done no wrong. He has, uh, you know, he's, he's not uh, a person who ought not to be at the president house or the prime minister house, as the case may be. But in the circumstances, I think the prime minister should take full responsibility for this. Um, that a person who, who admits that he's not invited, in fact, the person did admit, I understand that he was never invited, was allowed to enter um, the premises.